In set. Go! Scenes from this week's Amazing Race, part of Fort Meade's Sexual Assault Prevention Month observation. More on that in a moment. Also this week, the highest ranking enlisted service member stops by Fort Meade, and we'll take a look back at Earth Day. These stories and more, but first, Fort Meade volunteers gave more than 230,000 hours of service in the past year. That equates to more than $5 million. Services that benefit the entire community. Last night, Army Community Services and Club Meet hosted the Volunteer of the Year recognition ceremony. The evening featured a tribute to Fort Meade's oldest volunteer, the 102-year-old Marion Jordan. Fort Meade has more than 2,900 volunteers, but these individuals and units were recognized as Volunteers of the Year. We'll start with the Family Volunteers of the Year, Kay and Roger Crawford. The Enlisted Spouses Club was recognized as the Volunteer Organization of the Year. The Military Unit of the Year is the 741st Military Intelligence Battalion. Marvin Connor, whose family was also nominated for Family of the Year, did earn Youth Volunteer of the Year. Marsha McKinney was named the Civilian Volunteer of the Year. And finally, Air Force Master Sergeant Prene Singh of the 691st Intel Group is the Active Duty Volunteer of the Year. Winners will receive a commemorative brick to be placed in Constitution Park. In other news, Fort Meade wrapped up its observation of Sexual Assault Prevention Month this week with an amazing race. The race featured four challenges spread across the post and one final one at McLaughlin Parade Field. The purpose of the Amazing Race is to get all of our victim advocates and starts out here to teach, coach, and mentor our soldiers on the Sexual Assault Awareness Program. So we have civilians out here, we had military out here, everyone that's affected by the SHARP program we had out here. So they can answer questions and just be a team and just cheer each other on and just get SHARP today. A big message Sergeant Pearson wanted to convey is that April is Sexual Assault Prevention Month, but help is available all year. Throughout the year, we want to remind people that there is a program for our victims, and they are not alone. We want to remind people that we will not tolerate sexual assault and sexual harassment within our ranks. Elsewhere, the highest ranking enlisted service member in the United States military stopped by Fort Meade recently. Command Sergeant Major John Troxell, the senior enlisted advisor to the Joint Chiefs of Staff, was the guest speaker at last week's 704th Military Intelligence Brigade's NCO induction ceremony. In his remarks, the Sergeant Major explained why the NCO Corps gives the U.S. military an advantage. We have many competitive and comparative advantages over our potential adversaries and our current adversaries in every domain, every war fighting domain, whether it's ground, maritime, air, cyber, space, nuclear, but the most competitive advantage we have and the greatest advantage we have is in the human domain. Nobody in the world trains, educates, and empowers enlisted leaders like the United States military. We have some great allies around the world in, uh, in the last seven years I've served exclusively in joint and multinational environments, but nobody in the world will take a young corporal or a young sergeant, train them, educate them, certify them, where now we can trust them, and then empower them to accomplish missions within the commander's intent. That, ladies and gentlemen, is our greatest competitive advantage. Finally, on this edition, a look back at this year's Earth Day observance. There's always so much to see every year at Earth Day, but you couldn't miss the animals this year. There were owls, turtles, snakes, and even this handsome customer. Maryland Wildlife Educators Echoes of Nature provided the live animal display. While your ordinary house cat isn't usually considered wildlife, cats released by their owners are definitely a threat to other wildlife. Unfortunately, sometimes people release cats in the environment, and they're detrimental to birds and other wildlife. This is a harmful thing for our environment, and cats aren't supposed to be here. So if you're PCSing, essentially you would want to contact your friends and your neighbors, um, or um, maybe folks are really interested in felines to see if you could donate your cat to somebody else, as opposed to turning it out in the wild. Fort Meade's Department of Public Works Environmental Division hosts Earth Day every year to demonstrate Fort Meade's support for environmental protection. And that's Mead Week for this week. I'm Brian Spann. For everyone at Mead TV and the Fort Meade Public Affairs Office, have a great weekend and a great Mead Week. The power of one small action, one conversation, or one phone call can make a difference in the life of a veteran going through a difficult time. For free 24-7 confidential support, call the Veterans Crisis Line or the Military Crisis Line.